Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dark Flame 808 coming to you from Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me for a tutorial on how to go about modifying your service codes on your credit cards if you have a Fuse card, uh, like I do. Um, so, simply put, I have to make a disclaimer, okay? The information that I'm about to show you is for educational purposes only. It is just a tutorial to show you how the process is done. Whatever you decide to do with that information, it is on your conscience. It is on you. So please act responsibly with the information you are about to be shown. And uh, just keep in mind that ultimately it is your credit card and you're responsible for it. So whatever may come of this, it's on you. Okay. Uh, second disclaimer, this is not a tutorial, an all-encompassing tutorial. This is a quick and dirty uh, tutorial to show you how simple it is, but it does require you to have some kind of computer understanding. If you do not know how to install programs, skip the video. If you do not know what a command prompt is or how to navigate directories using like CD commands or DIR commands to list files, um, skip the video or you can just watch the video and do exactly as I do and then maybe you'll get lucky okay um, to begin you're gonna need a couple things all right so a couple things you need to accomplish this task is you need a card reader uh, I got this from Amazon for $15 um, you need a phone this that has the fuse card application I am using a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge you can use iOS, however, I have not used iOS. I am not sure if it will work, but it does work on the Samsung 7S or S7 Edge, excuse me. Uh, you will need a fuse card and also you will need a headphone cable. Um, I pulled this off of my Oppo PM3 headphone cable. It's got the little uh, volume control, microphone, answer, hang up switch. I don't know if this matters, um, but you do need a headphone jack. Again, your mileage may vary depending on the brand you have, okay? Um, this is assuming your computer has a sound card or a headphone jack. Um, and let's begin. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to Google. Go to Google and type in this string, malfunctionmag.py. It will take you to GitHub. Once you get to GitHub, you're going to click on RAW. It will present you with a text file. You will copy Control A, copy the entire contents. So Control A to select, Control C to copy, and you will paste all of it into Notepad. If you do not know how to load Notepad, skip this video. But if you do, load up Notepad and paste the contents into Notepad. From here, you will hit file, save as, and it will ask you what you want to save the file as. Put it in a folder that you can find, okay? So in my case, it's in my temp folder, C colon backslash temp, and the file is called magstripe.py. You can call it whatever you want, just call it something that you can remember. I use magstripe.py, so for you guys, I would recommend using the same thing too because it will make this tutorial consistent, okay? Once you do that, you will save the file and then you will open up a command prompt. So I opened up a command prompt and I went to my temp directory. Now to get to your command prompt, you're going to hit uh, the Windows key and then you will type in CMD and then you will hit enter and it will take you to your command prompt. You might be in a different directory initially. So to get there, what you can do is you can type in CD backslash temp press enter and that should take you to the temp folder this is where my folder or this is where the file magstripe resides okay so as you can see here in this folder i have a file called magstripe.py the size of the file is 11,159 bytes i downloaded this file today uh september 16th so it should be the same size for you however it may change as updates come about but Make sure you can find that file, okay? Now you're gonna go to Google and you're gonna type in Python for Windows. Download Python, install Python. Once Python is installed, when you're in your command prompt, if you type in Python, you should see this, Python 2.7.15. Make sure you download Python 2 
do not download Python 3. This will not work. If you get an error that says something along the lines of bad command or file name, uh, if you get something like this where it tells you it's not recognized as a command, then probably installed it wrong. Try again. If you still see the error, move along. This video will not help you. But if you got the Python 2.7.15, let's continue. Okay. Now in your notepad, this is where your Magstripe uh, information was pasted. Hit Control A, hit Backspace, clear everything out. All you care about is that your cursor is blinking in Notepad. Now we're going to go to our Fuse card and we're going to pick the card that we want to modify. Okay, so let me just unlock my Fuse card here. Alright, so I created a card called Test. Um, it's not a real card, so don't buy anything with it. It won't work, okay? But this is just a test card, so. What we're going to do is we're going to swipe the card in our credit card reader. And there we go. Now, you're going to get a string of data. It's going to look like this. It's going to have a semicolon, your credit card number, equals the year of expiration, the month of expiration, 201, which is your service code, and a string up until the question mark. This is a hash code, like a security string that is sent with your credit card information to make sure the credit card is valid. You may also see a plus sign and the exact same data again. Sometimes the plus sign comes up, sometimes it doesn't come up. Okay, all we care about is everything from the semicolon to the question mark. Everything else after that, you can delete it. So I'm gonna delete everything after the question mark. Okay. We want to modify the service code. The service code is 201. I'm going to change the 2 and I'm going to change it to a 1. Okay. Now I'm going to copy this entire string here. Right click, copy. I'm going to go back to my um, DOS folder and then let me make sure that the file Okay, make sure that my file has been deleted because I don't want to make the same file twice. So now we're back in our temp folder. I want to make sure that my file does not exist, okay? Because this is the file we're going to create. Test.wave. That's the name of the file that we're going to make with the credit card information that we've changed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to type in mag stripe dot py space dash t2 space dash c space quotation marks paste close quotes space dash f space test dot wave we are telling magstripe py to create track number two data the contents of that track is going to contain a quotation mark. That entire string that we had changed, make sure you are changed it to 101. Close it off with a quotation mark. We're going to export the file to a file called test.wave. When you hit enter, you should see a string like this. This is the binary data of your credit card. Okay? This is what your credit card track looks like. Now we're going to type in test.wave. We're going to open that file that we just made. Okay, there's the file that we just made. Now, you're going to take your headphone jacks. I use the side that's closest to the mic and I plug that into my computer. My computer's headphone jack. Okay, take your other side, plug it into your phone. Alright, now we're going to unlock our phone and we're going to go into our card. Now we're going to add a new Fuse card.
All right. I want to add a new payment card. Let's see here. All right. Now, when we get to this point, it's going to say, okay, swipe your card. Now, I'm going to try to balance this here so you can see what's going on. Hopefully, you can see that. Up here is my play button for my file that I had just made. I'm going to hit that play button once to read the card. Oh, also, let's make sure that we're on the right station here. Make sure we're on. Make sure that you select the right output for your headphones. Okay, so now let's make sure we got that selected, and then we're going to hit play. Okay, let's take a look here. Oh, I know what's wrong. My headphone jack wasn't plugged in all the way. Let's try this again. Okay, so I'm going to hit the play button. Forgive me, I don't have a good YouTube setup here. So play and play. Okay, so I played it twice, right? Because you're like swiping your card twice, right? Okay, now we're going to hit next. And we're going to give it a CVC number. I'm going to just make up a number here. doesn't matter what you put because it's based on what your card is, right? Not what my card is. So I'm going to call this test 2. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, save. All right. Now it's synchronizing it to my card. I'm going to go back into my notepad. So now we're back in notepad. And I'm going to pick... Test number one. I'm going to swipe it. All right. Now I'm going to pick test number two. All right. Okay. Now remember I told you sometimes it puts a plus with a string. You can disregard all that information because that's just basically the card repeating itself. So I'm going to delete all of that string there. And then you're going to notice here, if you look carefully, everything should be exactly the same except your service code. Your service code changed. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how simple it is to change your service code. Um, keep it, Like I said, please be responsible because technically you could basically put anything you want here and have it duplicated here. So... Uh, that's one of the negative things I think about the Fuse card. They need to implement more security protocols because now technically this can become anything you want because you don't really need to swipe anything as demonstrated here. Okay, so that's how you do it. Uh, please use the information responsibly. I hope this tutorial was uh, to your satisfaction. And uh, with that said, thank you for uh, your questions and comments. Have a good day.